This week, we are focusing on words that children can misspell in exams. We hope this video will help your child to pay attention to small details in spelling the following words. Spelling list seven. Word number one is rude. When a person is rude, they can be disrespectful and show poor manner. Don't forget the bossy E at the end of the word. Remember the spelling by bossy E is being rude to his teacher. Word number two is unusual. Another word for unusual is strange or weird. Un is the prefix for usual. Remember the spelling by it's unusual to have three U's in the word unusual. Word number three is receive. When you receive a letter from a friend, it means a letter just got given to you. This is a common word that many students spell wrong. Remember, it is not spelt as R E C I E V E. Your teacher at school might have told you the common rule I before E except after C. This means the letter I is always before E unless there is a C. The other way you can remember the spelling of this word is by the sentence, I've finally received the letter from my friend. Do you see I've in the word receive? Word number four is believe. Many students spell believe as B E L I V E. Remember the spelling by no one will believe you if you lie. Can you see the word lie in believe? Word number five is allowed. When you are allowed to do something, it means you are giving the permission. Remember, there are two L's in the word allowed. You are allowed to have all the lollies. Can you see the word all in allowed? Word number six is allowed. This allowed is the homophone of word number five. Both words have the same sounds, but different spelling and meaning. Can you see the word loud in allowed? If you have to guess the meaning, what would it be? Correct, it means loud noise. In a sentence, you can say, the teacher read the book aloud again. Word number seven is jealous. My son, baby William, is always jealous of his sister, Elizabeth. He snatches her toys, grabs her food, and fights for attention. Do you have a brother or sister who is always jealous of you and does mean things to you? Word number eight is cousin. A cousin is someone who is related to you. Your cousin could be the daughter or son of your auntie and uncle. Don't pronounce the word as ku, sing. It is cousin. Word number nine is ordinary. Another word for ordinary is normal. Break the word into four syllables to help you remember the spelling. O, D, N, R, I. Word number 10 is forehead. This is a compound word. This means there are two small words in the word forehead. The word for means front, so forehead means the front of your head. Word number 11 is complained. Have you ever nagged your parents to replace your old computer? If so, you are complaining. Think about your computer in the word complain. Word number 12 is destroy. My son, baby William, always cries when his sister destroys his toys. Destroy means to wipe out or break everything. Can you see the word toys in destroy? 
where number 13 is activity. When you are doing an activity, it means you are doing an exercise or a job. Can you see the word act in activity? An act is a movement. Word number 14 is adventure. An adventure is a journey or a venture. For example, baby William always wanted to go on a sea adventure to hunt for sea creatures. Can you see the word venture in adventure? Word number 15 is imagination. To write an interesting story, you have to have imagination, which means creativity. Imagination contains the word image, which means picture. You have to paint a picture for the reader by using your imagination. Word number 16 is disappointed. Disappointed means upset. Stephanie is disappointed that her students didn't bring two pencils to her class. Remember, there is only one S, but two P's. This means there is only one Stephanie who is asking for two pencils. Word number 17 is impatiently. Impatiently means irritation or with annoyance. If you break the word up, you can see I'm patient. However, you won't be patient if something or someone badly annoys you. Therefore, to help you remember the meaning and the spelling, remember the sentence by I'm patiently waiting in line to get served until the register closed. It was so annoying. Word number 18 is disastrous. Disastrous is the adjective for the word disaster. An earthquake can be a disastrous event. Word number 19 is catastrophic. Catastrophic is the synonym for the word disastrous. A bushfire is a catastrophic event because it is a disaster. Break the word into four syllables to help you remember the spelling. Cat, ass, tro, fic. Word number 20 is twinkling. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Do you know this song? This song is about the stars twinkling or shining in the sky. When the stars are twinkling, they are also winking at you. Can you see the word winking in twinkling? Word number 21 is barbecue. In Australia, we love having a barbecue on a sunny weekend. That's when we cook sausages and steaks outdoors on a rack over an open fire. The abbreviation for barbecue is BBQ. So many students spell barbecue as B-A-R-B-E-Q-U-E. Remember, there is no food that starts with Q to be placed on a barbecue. Word number 22 is buffalo. A buffalo looks like a cow, except it is more vicious. A buffalo has two horns, so remember that it has two Fs. Word number 23 is subtract. In math, subtract means take away. If you subtract or take one apple from the three apples, there will be two apples left. Word number 24 is minus. Minus is the synonym for the word subtract. Three minus one equals two. 
Word number 25 is adjective. An adjective is a describing word. We have been focusing on descriptive writing this term. I have asked many of you to apply adjectives to describe nouns. In class, we looked at a description of a toy clown. The clown was wicked and fearsome. Wicked and fearsome are both adjectives to describe the clown. Word number 26 is deduct. Deduct is another synonym for subtract and minus. If I deduct one dollar from your piggy bank, it means I take away one dollar from it. Word number 27 is withdraw. Withdraw means take away or deduct. If your mum goes to the bank to withdraw money, it means she's taking money out from the bank to use. Withdraw is a compound word. Can you see with and draw? Word number 28 is recommended. If your teacher recommend you to join the top math group, it means she's suggesting that you are great in math. She will commend you on your great talent in math. Can you see the word commend in recommended? Word number 29 is encourage. I always encourage my students to believe in themselves by building courage. This means I try to inspire and urge my students to do well in all aspects of their learning and in life. Without courage, we cannot succeed. Where number 30 is successful. Your mum would normally say to you, if you study hard, you will have a chance to be successful in life. This means you will do well. Don't forget there are two C's and two S's in the word. This brings to the end of our spelling list seven. Keep practicing and good luck in your spelling test.